हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सिद्धार्थ गुप्ता टुडे वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट परसेंटेज सॉल्ड एग्जांपल इन्वॉल्विंग प्रॉफिट एंड डिस्काउंट यू माइट हैव सीन सच क्वेश्चंस व्हिच इन्वॉल्व द मार्क प्राइस द कॉस्ट प्राइस द सेलिंग प्राइस द डिस्काउंट प्रॉफिट लॉस एवरीथिंग ओके सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड एन एग्जांपल एंड वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इट बाय यूजिंग सम कांसेप्ट ओके दैट इज द कांसेप्ट ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस एंड परसेंटेज so i am siddharth gupta you can follow me on anacademy.in/user/siddharthgupta so let's start we will understand it with the help of a solved example <coughs> the example is after offering a discount of 37.5% pankaj sold the rice at a profit of 25% had he offered a discount of 41.67% his profit or loss would have been option a 16.66% profit option b 12% loss option c 29.17% loss and option d 8.33% profit so what i can say here is that you can see the discount offered and the discount that uh, that the remaining that the next time he will going to offer it is like 41.67 and the initial discount was 37.5 so it seems weird discounts you can see 41.67 it would be difficult for us to solve such question if i use it using the variable if i take x as the variable in this question it would be difficult to solve so you need to remember the ratios and the conversion the fractions the percentages okay for example it clearly says that discount offered is 37.5 so if you convert this 37.5% into fraction you will get 3 by 8 okay and if you convert this 41.67% in into fraction you will get 5 by 12 so you need to remember the table which in which you need to write the fractions and the corresponding percentages as well so if we take here for example in this 37.5% is the discount and discount is always offered on mark price so if i take mark price as 100 rupees or x rupees it would be difficult to solve this question so what we will do is we will assume the mark price as 8 paisa or 8 okay or 8p whatever you need to say so 8p is assume mark price now why i have assumed it as 8p it's because the discount is 37.5% which is 3 by 8 that's why we can consider the mark price as 8p so discount is 37.5% that is 3 by 8 of mark price and you will get 3 paise okay so the selling price will be what if i deduct 3 paise from this 8 paise you will get 5p okay so 5p is the selling price now selling price is what selling price is equals to cost price plus profit okay cost price cost price plus profit so 5p is equals to cp plus 25 by 100 into 25 so from here you will get that the cost price cost price will be equals to 4p okay the 4 paisa will be the cost price now the question says that if he had offered a discount of 41.67% so we have taken the mark price as 8p okay and if i take a discount of 41.67% that is if i take a discount of 5 by 12 okay so the new selling price will become SP is equals to 8P minus 5 by 12 into 8P, which is equals to 14P by 3. This will be the final selling price. And you can see if selling price is 14P by 3, my cost price is 4P. See, see, the cost price will not going to change. Cost price will remain same as it is. Okay. Only the thing that can be changed is the selling price. By offering different discounts on the mark price, I can have different selling price. So the profit will be equals to selling price minus cost price so selling price is 14p by 3 and cost price is 4p so 14p by 3 minus 4p will give you 2p by 3 this is the profit that we can have that is 2p by 3 so what is the profit percent it is simply profit upon cost price see always the profit is calculated as the on the cost price you know this that for calculating the profit cost price is the base is the base value okay So I will say two p by three is my profit divided by four p, which is the cost price into hundred. That will give you hundred by six percent. That is sixteen point six six percent. So you can see this question becomes simple when I assume mark price is eight p. 
and for this you need to be uh, you need to be very well aware of the convergence of percentages and fractions okay if you are not aware of that then it would be difficult to solve let us see if you take this as 100 if you take this as 100 then the discount offered will be 3 by 8th of 100 so it would be a tds then this 37.5 rupees will be the discount and the selling price will be some this 37.5 and subtracted from this 100 okay so the calculation becomes heavy that is 62.5 will be the selling price so to reduce the calculation we need to use such kind of tactics so for that you need to be very well aware of the fractions and percentage the conversion of fraction and percentage see this 41.67 is also a weird kind of percent again you need to convert if you convert it into fraction it would be easy for you to solve else it would be very difficult okay thank you